Hello again, uh, you're listening to me uh, coding and talking at the same time. Uh, we're, uh, we have arrived at the point where I want to create a function called uh, cost fits in production to see if the cost of a, uh, uh, of a card fits in the production uh, that we have available. So let's uh, create this function then. That was wrong. That was right. Function, oops function cost fits in production cost production uh, both of these are on the, this form I'm just going to copy these over to have the words to work with uh, no cost can also have the any uh, let colors equal and then have an array with these. I'm pretty sure we're going to use them. Blue. Black. Red. And green. It's quicker to write myself actually. There we are. Um, okay, so we actually already covered the the, um, uh, the case where we have any here, which is good, I guess. I'm I'm gonna have to rewrite this if I do the the case of uh, checking if we can play anything on um, round two. But maybe we'll skip that. I don't know. Um, okay, so. For let's see for color of colors, go through all the colors. C here will be the name of the color. If uh, and what then we should have now we, we're looking at the <laughs> cost of one, which is pretty basic, but let's do this a bit more general uh, to see if the cost we have here is covered by the total production we have here. So if um, if cost color is bigger than production Color. return false okay so if the cost at any time is bigger than the production if we if cost one red mana and we have zero red mana then we're screwed all right and when you've gone through all these colors and none of them is bigger than the uh, cost well bigger than the production then we're fine return true we should actually, if we want to make this a bit more uh, solid, uh, we should, well, if we want to make this a bit more generic, we should also cover the any cost scenario. As long as we're just looking at one here, it's fine. Um, but let's just do this basic case right now. It will work for, for just checking the first hand and we'll be fine with that. I think that's enough for now. Uh, so this cost one, let's call it cost one to just denote that this is for only one cost card cards. Uh, checks if color production color cost for a card is covered by the Oh, uh, yeah, we can remove this one. And just say that it works with color. Color cost fits in production. That, that's good. Color cost fits in production. Is covered by the production. Okay. And we're only checking for cards that cost one right now, which is good because uh, lands cost zero to play. So and we would, don't want to 
we're not interested in playing more lands. Uh, and if this happens, then we're fine. And if not, we're not fine. Um, so let's uh, use a variable here to, to keep track of whether we can play one card, any card. Uh, we can play, uh, let we can play equal false. Go through all the hands. If you find anyone that we can play, then set we can play to true. Okay, so let's try this. Run debugger. Can we play? Yes, we can play. Um, are we sure? We're pretty sure. Let's look at our production. We have two whites here. Let's actually do something a bit smarter. Let's remove all the lands from our uh, our deck, or a few of them. Here is our land. I'm just gonna delete and run a new debugger. And we should say that we can play false. Returning them. And we should be able to play again. Yeah. Um, let's assume that this works the way we want. And let's, in the next video, look at how to store these results and look at the distribution of, say, 10,000 shuffling and drawing of seven cards. Uh, see you there. Bye.